Hi, welcome to the Hancock County Extension's 2020 Summer Exploration Session 1 how-to video on our workshop, Marbling. Um, this workshop idea comes from hip to save on the internet and, and as you complete your project you may want to pause or replay this part of this video. Let's get started. Um, in this kit, we will provide you the shaving cream, a ruler, a skewer, some paper, and a choice of either primary color food coloring or neon color food coloring. What you'll need at home is a pan that the paper fits in and some paper towels. All right, for your first step, you get your pan and you are going to cover it with Shake it good. And shaving cream expands. So if you think you don't have enough, you probably are good. So I'm going to take our ruler and I'm going to smooth it out a bit and see where I need to add more because you want it completely covered. I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, so once you get a good covering over the bottom, you can scrape off your extra on the side. And remember, have your paper towels close because this is a messy project. Um, I have an apron on and it also says you can wear gloves because you will be working with food coloring that will stain your hands and your clothes and everything. So be careful. Make sure you have a parent there helping you. Okay, the next step is I'm going to add my colors and with the colors you want to make sure you have contrasting colors um, and that you put you can put this in your um, Goal sheet if you're going to do this for fair, like how, how or why you picked the colors you picked. Um, and then also you want to make sure you get them pretty much evenly spaced out. So I'm going to do this neon colors over here. And I'm going to put a few drops in and I might add more later. I'm just going to wait and see um, how I like it. It's part of the design process. One more. And I picked all four colors just because I like I like a very colorful project, but you could just pick two colors if you like those two colors together. Just remember to make sure they have some contrast. You wouldn't want to pick a green and a yellow because that just wouldn't be enough contrast. All right. Okay, so now that I've got some of my color in there from the food coloring, you want to take your skewer and you want to mix it up. Now this um, is where you want to be careful. If you do too much, it'll just, it will color the whole thing and then you won't see any differences. Probably just turn brown. So I, you just kind of like this and you start moving it around. See how it moves around? And then like, if I want to, I can add more food coloring right here because there's a big white space that I want. So, but make sure you go through your big chunks of food coloring and mix it up. Now this takes a little while. Another thing that you could, that I am doing is I'm going in different directions and it really adds to the um, design of it and making it look, mixing up the colors a little bit and okay. So now that I've got my first, my first layer done, I'm going to add a little something because it will show up. I'm going to go through a little bit more, take apart that color how I want it. And then now you can kind of see that I can kind of make a design. Now it won't show up very well, but 
I could make a figure eight design and it, it will show up on there. Or I could do a 4-H design. Um, there's several designs you can do and that will show up on your first sheet of card or card stack. Okay, so now we're gonna take our piece of paper and we are going to smush it in the shaving cream. So make sure you get it all in there and don't move it too much, just press it down. And make sure you press it down everywhere or it won't capture capture your color. Okay. Pull it up. Now I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to lay it down on the paper towel. Um, I'm now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to take off the, the top layer of shaving cream. Now, scrape off the shaving cream as much as you can. Remember, a lot of paper towels. And then we're going to do get the rest off. There. And now you have your masterpiece. Um, kind of, you can also write about texture in your goal sheet about how this looks like texture and has a, it's a little raised and you can also talk about how you decided what colors you wanted to use and you could decide like how you wanted your pattern to go or not your pattern necessarily but your design to go. Um, there are several things that you, got, you can use on your goal sheet. Um, now what you can do is you can either add more color to your pan or I kind of like the design that it leaves. So I am going to take my uh, another sheet and I'm going to do it again. Press it good. And do the process all over again. Okay, so I had a few spots where I didn't get some shaving cream so I'm just gonna put it back and since it really doesn't like follow a pattern it's you can put it wherever you want that you want color and I had a big splot of purple there so I wanted to do that part okay so now same thing put it down take your ruler and take off the shaving cream now you have a different different from the time before. Um, I decided I used the primary color the first time I tried it and I ended up, this is what the primary color first one looks like. And then what I did with my painting or my, my project was I decided I was going to cut an Iowa out of the, one of the sheets with a heart where Hancock County is. So you could do se several different things like this. You can make greeting cards. You could make um, bookmarks. You could take your projects and just frame them in a, in a collage of three. Whatever you'd like to make, you can do with these after you let them dry. We are glad you were able to join us for this workshop. Please remember the goal sheet examples for showing this exhibit at the fair can be found on our website. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to call us at the Hancock County Extension Office 923-2856.